I'm Emily Arnold Fernandez. I'm the founder and executive director of Asylum Access. And in order to understand our work, you first really need to understand the problem. So I'm going to ask you to remember three numbers. The first is 16 million. The second is less than 1%. Yeah. And the third is 17 years. What do those numbers mean? There are 16 million refugees in the world. Less than 1% of them reach the US, Canada, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand combined. So that means the vast majority of refugees remain in Africa, Asia, or Latin America. And the average time in a refugee camp is 17 years. That means 17 years behind barbed wire, an entire childhood or most of a working life. Without ordinary police protections, if a woman is raped, she's left living next door to her rapist with no recourse to the ordinary police or court system. It means 17 years without the right to move freely, without the right to work or start a business, without the right to choose and build a new life for your family. So how do we move from a world where refugee women are kept behind bars for 17 years on average to a world where refugee women can start their own businesses, can work, can provide for their families, and can build a new life in a new home? That's where Asylum Access comes in. We use four tools to transform the human rights landscape for refugee women. The first is legal aid one-on-one -on -one legal assistance that helps refugee women get work permits, get business licenses, get legal status so they can do all of this. The second is community legal empowerment. Working with refugee communities to empower them, to train them, to advocate for their own rights and needs. The third is policy advocacy, legislative and constitutional change to make rights a reality for refugee women. And the fourth is strategic litigation, bringing precedent-setting cases that make sure that those rights that we've succeeded in getting are a reality in refugees' daily lives, not just on a piece of paper in a law somewhere. One of our biggest successes is in Ecuador, where we were able to change the Ecuadorian constitution so that 250,000 refugees there can now work and feed their families lawfully for the first time in history. I'd like to leave you with just one story. I've given you a lot of numbers, but I'd like to leave you with one story of a refugee woman, woman who we helped. Her name's Suzanne, and she's in Tanzania now. Suzanne lived in Democratic Republic of Congo, and she was outraged by the impunity in DRC for victims of sexual violence. Those of you who know DRC probably know that, the, that rape is endemic there, and that the epidemic of sexual violence usually goes unpunished. And so she was speaking out about this. And because she was speaking out, she herself became a target. Suzanne was raped, and she knew it was only a matter of time before she was killed. So she fled to Tanzania, but she didn't want to go to the refugee camps because she knew that the statistics there for violence against women are also terrible. And she wasn't willing to go through that again. So she lives in Dar es Salaam, but when she came to Dar es Salaam, she had no legal status, no right to work. She hadn't gotten asylum or other sort of, any other sort of international protection there. So she was living under the radar with her five kids, unable to work and unable to provide for them. And she came to us. And she said, is there anything I can do? And we were able to say yes. We helped Suzanne get legal status in Tanzania. We helped her to get a work permit and a license to run a business. And now Suzanne has her own restaurant She's running a business, she's feeding her five kids, she's contributing to her new home in Tanzania. So what can you do to be part of this? You can join us, and there are a lot of different ways to do that. You can start by telling your friends and family those numbers that I mentioned. You can start by letting them know what the problem is. And you can help us additionally by being part of our movement. By contributing, I know you've got some 
uh, some donor dollars to contribute tonight, and by joining us as a volunteer or as a board member. So many different ways to get involved with the work that we're doing. So if you'd like to know more about how you can be a part of the refugee rights movement, how you can make economic and political rights a reality for refugee women, please come up and see me, come up and see my colleague Anna Chen at the end of the presentation, and we'd be happy to talk to you more. Thanks so much.